Hey guys, today I'm going to go over some cards I got at the flea market and they're very good. So I'm going to make a few different videos and I just want you to know this is where all the boxes went. I bought 40 boxes for 5 to $10 a box. I think it came down to closer to $5 because I bought so much. And this is all the stuff that came in them. So you could imagine it's $400 of stuff. Well, let's see. No, let's say $300 is probably more accurate. So you have Predict, and there is a bunch of Predicts, which is now a $4 card. This card used to be almost no money. Now it is a $4 card, so it's about 19 copies of it, and I'm already $80 there. I know it is retail value. And I'm doing it by color. You have Blighted Agents, you, that's a play set, two, three, four, five, five play sets. So 20 of those, which is very, very good because they are amazing and popper. And I don't feel like, I feel like I can move them quite easily either online or somewhere else. Probably in even a local buy list, they're gonna buy this because it is one of the better popper cards. High Tide with the different artworks. A legacy card, I feel like this is the only card of value in Fallen Empires. A lot of high tides. And also, I heard this card just went up in price. Flash, flash, right? So that was it for blue. Typically blue, you do a lot better in the blue color. The white color, I did the most poorly in because there turns out, I was looking for Condemn. That was the card I'm looking for, though not a super valuable card like Predict or Flash, it gets there, right? I mean, Predict is such a beautiful card. I believe it is, it obviously has to see more play in EDH and Legacy, because it's not, you cannot play in Modern to begin with, so. And the Flash has recently gone up because of the banning, but at the time I picked them up, they actually did not do that. Well, I didn't know, they were just random stuff. So let's go ahead with the lands in Artifact. Not of this. Uh, this card has gone up a lot in price. I'm surprised I only got five of them, given that they are common. And he had box. I mean, I got a ton of this set. I just have to figure out what in this set is valuable. And you have just, I think you have multiple editions of this. It's just hard to tell. Yeah, you do have multiple editions of it. I can tell from the, the printing. So that is a common card. And the Jackpot Urza's Power Plant. Urza's Power Plant, tower is worth slightly more, but there's less towers, there's only seven towers. I don't think that's, that's probably just random. This came in one box. Imagine one box having all the towers, all the uh, power plants, all the mines. That is a crazy box, right? Because, oh, here's more towers. Ne never mind, I guess they are just separated from each other for whatever reason. Let me put the towers here. And the goal was 40 boxes at, let's say, $750 a box. Well, okay, that's hard in math. That's like $300. So the question is, did I make $300? And then also remember, there is a lot of bulk as well. You can leave me a comment below. Did I make the $300 from just these stacks? Maybe not. I mean, it's pretty close. So let me actually calculate how much it was. It wasn't 300, it was like less than that. It's probably closer to 250, it's probably like 250 because I got a lot of discounts afterwards. So $2, $250 and you get 40 long boxes. The bulk alone is worth, I guess, like $50 maybe. It's unsorted bulk. I mean, obviously he took out the cards that are in incredibly expensive, but yeah, let's just assume this is $250 of cards. I can play any popper format now because it also has a lot of recent sets and like more recent sets. Here's Boggles. It is mind boggling how many Boggles that there were. And it's like if you hit, there are boxes as you probably saw from the video. And I know there's a ton more of these like unmakes and stuff. I just have to uh, look at them because some of the boxes were organized and that's why I took out. And then some of the boxes were not organized and that's why I left in. But for $250, 
it's not bad. It wasn't like super amazing. It's not like I tripled or doubled, but like that's very hard to do in today's economy, right? Because if you have the internet, people know what cards are worth. So people are not gonna give you some ridiculous amount of money. Uh, this card, I believe was recently reprinted. Uh, here's another blighted agent. Wild Nakados, Neto Sentinel. So I did go over all, all 40 boxes and this is what, you're not gonna find that many rares. There were a few. Presence of Gond. But uh, Hyena Umbrum was the only white uncommon I found that I believe was worth money. There might be a few other ones. I, it is quite possible I missed some money cards because I didn't know that Molten Rain, I did not know they were money cards. 10 Molten Rains. Essentially this is, if you are really into Popper and you bought this collection, you can play any Popper deck you want. Um, there, there's a bunch of Lightning Bolts and Counter Spells. I just didn't put them out here because Raven's Crime is actually more expensive now. And there's a ton. So this is just how many, so imagine with the exception of really notable uncommons like Inquisition of Kozilak or something like that, you just get 10 to 20 copies of every uncommon and 40 to 50 copies of every common from every pretty much every set. Uh, go Gary, uh, more, 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 more terrains. So that was it. I do feel pretty good about this purchase from the standpoint that it wasn't a total waste of money where it looked like initially it was. I did open some boxes in their entirety on this channel, I think probably around 15 or 20 of them, and it looked really poor. Uh, this just came on the back half, so it's whatever I got from those boxes, as well as just these new cards. I will continue to look for uh, cards. I know that they have a lot of artifact lands, and they were a dollar or two, I just did not pull them out. So that is $250 of flea market cards. Uh, 40, let's say that's like a uh, thousand, is it 500 count? It's more than 500 cards, like a thousand count. So that is what 4,000, 40 times thousand. No, 40,000? That can't be 500. I'm, I'm doing the math incorrectly, but it's 40 of those long boxes. And I feel like the long boxes hold either 500 or a thousand. Uh, let's assume that it's like, 500. So that is what 20,000 magic cards looks like in terms of bulk. But you also have to understand you get literally 20 copies of every uncommon that was not valuable since 2000 and probably 14. And then 30 to 40 copies of every common. So if you ever wanted to pay, play popper, this would have been the deal. $250 to play any popper deck is pretty good. Unless it's a common worth more than $5 it will be in these piles. Anyway, I could have, I'll take you through a tour of my magic room a little later so you can get an idea of what these cards look like, but they are 40 long boxes and that's what they are. Anyway, bye guys.